this video, I'd like to demonstrate a technique to get a center line representation in the middle of one of our formed rods or formed tube parts that's not created via the tube and pipe tool inside of Inventor. So uh, in this simple design, we've got just a very small uh, formed bar and I want to show that inside of my drawing. So I'll grab a base view of that. We're going to look at it from the top view, like so. And I'm going to hit OK. So here's our bar, and that worked just fine. And one of the things that you can do to approximate this is you can also come to the Annotate tab, and you can do something like the center line bisector. And as I click on the matching pairs of geometry, it will create that overlap. But what happens is it's not perfect. And so some of uh, people have asked, is there a better way to do it than using the centerline bisector? Because sometimes these lines between the arc and the center part overlap, etc., etc. And so what I would like to do is show you a potential workaround. I'm not saying that this is ideal. I would rather see the bisect, uh, bisectors fixed so that there's no overlapping. But what we can do is we can create our own sort of line. And this is somewhat unique, I would say, in 2018 Inventor because they now allow us to show surface bodies. And so what I've done is inside of my sweep, I have a path and I have a profile sketch. And what I've done is I've shared the sketch, and from that, I actually create an extruded surface. So all you do is you take your center line sketch, you extrude it some distance, and you click OK. And so now we're ended, we are left with a surface body. So when I come over to the drawing, depending on what your defaults are set up for, if you look at the recovery options, you can now include surface bodies. So if I have that checked, now you'll see this hidden line show up that, again, matches up perfectly with the center of the shape. So again, I consider this more of a workaround, but it can be a very effective way to uh, get the center line in here. And now the interesting thing is you may not want that to show up inside of the model. So you could right-click, turn off the visibility, and it'll stay showing even if the visibility state is turned off. And the way that that can be controlled is if you look underneath the view, you'll see your part here, and if you right click on it, it'll include all the surfaces, even if they're not necessarily showing in the model itself. So that's again my quick tip to work around that, and so we could definitely use this to dimension maybe the half diameter of the pipe, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera or we could do measurements between them. Whatever you needed to do in that case, you would have the freedom to do that. So again, I hope this tip helps you. Uh, just a way to get that center line in there without having all the overlap of the bisector. And if you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, hope all is well and have a blessed day.